touched so many of us in his years here, here at Ashley. Um, I dare say that everyone at this event probably knows the breadth of Dylan's contributions. He's a double major in biology and theater. He's our lead sustainability intern in campus dining. He's the feast president. He's the sustainability community, uh, a committee student rep. He's an active participant in the food cluster. He's an organizer of Food Justice Month and Earth Week every year. Uh, he's an overachiever, to say <laughs> the least. <laughs> but somehow he pulls it all off. Most un unusually, um, he's accomplished this and virtually everything very collaboratively, engaging all constituents, constituencies in a very positive manner. He's navigated obstacles ranging from institutional bureaucracy um, to intractable vendors. Um, this commitment to positive cl collaboration is not easy, and it's not just a function of personality, it's a skill. Thus, we have all invested in Dylan. We have applauded his successes, and we've marveled at just how many of them there have been. Looking back, I was simply lucky to land Dylan as our lead sustainability intern three years ago. Three years ago, I was up here presenting a word to his predecessor, by the way. So it's really nice to see all of you again. <laughs> but we only hire this position every three years. Right place, right time. And luck and good fortune. Dylan was here at the right time with the right pitch to turn Oxy's commitment to the Real Food Challenge from a plan to a pledge. President Veach approved making Oxy just the 27th signatory to the Real Food Challenge out of hundreds of participating schools, and that happened in 2014. The RFC requires schools to spend 20% of our food budget on sustainable food, and that means food that is organic, local, humane, just for its workers, meaning uh, it, pro it promotes a just at work atmosphere. Um, and our, and that's by 2020. We chose a higher goal, we chose 30%. And this has been Dylan's quest. He has worked with suppliers, he's worked with our chefs, he's worked with our line cooks, and he's even worked with the Real Food Challenge itself. He made a nuisance of himself with the Real Food Challenge National Organization, <laughs> in a good way. He lobbied them to be more operator friendly, helping them see that not all of us are resistant to change. We embrace change, but we need tools, we need supply chains, and we need tiered categories. But faced at the start of his tenure with an RFC metric and calculator that had abruptly become entirely more, uh, entirely different and much more stringent, Dylan had to adapt. Real Food Challenge data entry in campus dining encompasses millions of dollars of food purchases every year. The new requirements take at least double the student labor on this aspect alone. So we're not just out there trying to get sustainable food, we have to prove that we're getting sustainable food. And the metrics of that have become very, very um, labor intensive. And none of this happens without students. Students are the only ones who do this input. So honestly, all I did on this front was come up with the budget. Dylan recruited and he trained the new interns and now we have a team of four instead of a team of two. And it's all paying off. Um, today, I'm excited, proud, and grateful to have you guys be the first ones to hear some really good news. This week, we submitted, Dylan submitted actually, not <laughs> this school year's data to the Real Food Challenge for audit and approval, and I can report that we have progressed from last year's 12% under the new stringent metrics to an unaudited percentage that we're near certain is well over 20%. And for March alone, our figures are a whopping 27%. Um, to give you some other perspectives of Dylan's impact across Oxy, I have to quote other people because he, he has just touched a part of, um, a part of us. Um, Susan Gratch calls us um, Dylan's fans, followers, and mentors. 
So you're going to hear from a few of those. <laughs> um, Dylan's received quite a few awards this award season. Um, he was honored with the Student Affairs Capstone Leadership Award last week. And just this afternoon, he was honored by the theater department with the Jack Bell Award for Outstanding Creative Achievement for Set Design. So this is a renaissance man. <laughs> Um, so here, here we go, from John Lang in Sociology and Food Studies, or the Food Cluster, yes. Um, Dylan was essential to reviving Feast and the Feast Garden on campus and creating student interest across a wide range of majors. He finds creative ways to help students in food and environmental issues, including leading a cooking class for 50 of my first year students and helping orga organize the Oxy Iron Chef competition involving stu students, faculty, and staff. It is the rare student who actively finds ways to involve these three groups, and he's done so. Importantly, he has steadfastly worked to ensure that new student groups, new students are mentored into each of these initiatives so they can endure long after he has graduated. That is the definition of sustainability. From Susan Gratch in theater, um, Dylan joined with his peers in both theater and biology to ensure that close attention was paid to the issues of diversity ensuring that work continues at all levels so that the classroom, the lab, and the stage become inclusive, inviting, and accessible to all. From Gretchen North in biology, I can honestly say that I prepare more thoroughly for class than I would otherwise when I know Dylan is going to be present. Well, there's a compliment. His mind doesn't rest, and it is only fair to try to keep up with him. With respect to his academic achievements in my classes, Dylan was easily the best student in both. His exams were always close to the top, but what truly distinguished his performance was the scientific sophistication of the questions he asked both in and out of class. He is one of the most profound thinkers about plants and about biology in general that I have ever had the pleasure of knowing. From Sharon Check. Not only is Dylan a pleasure to work with and an asset to any team, but he also has a gift for communicating the significance and greater context of his work on food systems and procurement to broader audiences both within and beyond Oxy. After hearing from Dylan, the students in the food and environment class had a new appre appreciation for the food they eat every day, and he is sure to impress the farm to school practitioners from throughout the nation at the Farm to Cafeteria Conference in June. And finally, from Judy Runyon, who purchases, oh no, can't, I don't have this memorized, <laughs> who purchases much of our food, just today, when she heard we were above 20%, one simple comment that speaks to Dylan's legacy in campus dining, and you heard her say this comment. She said, every procurement decision I make moving forward, I'll ask myself, would it make Dylan proud? <laughs> we all know that Dylan will make us proud. He will make great changes in the world, whether it is family farm in Wisconsin, or globally, and I would bet both. Please join me in congratulating them.